So we're gonna have a forfeit at 205. And M2 is gonna get a forfeit here at 205. Who do we got here? We got Austin Johnson. So Austin Johnson gets his hand raised. It's the first hand raised of the day. And next we're gonna have the 55 pounders out on the mat. Riley Crandall, Crandall, M2 Training Center, Hunter, Meeker, Burnett Strand. So Meeker in the green, black singlet. Crandall in the red for M2 Training Center. So here we go, 55ers on the mat. Oh, nice, right away, take down. Nothing yet, nothing rewarded. And looking for a cradle here is Crandall to take down. Riley Crandall, 2-0 lead, and he comes, they shoot him out of a cannon. So Riley Crandall gets shot out of a cannon. For M2, now he's chasing a headlock against Meeker. Now Meeker's got a single. These guys are looking to go highlight reel here, it looks like. It's a shot by Crandall. Crandall got that down leg hook. Two takedown. Crandall, 4-1 now on Meeker. Cranking a power half is Crandall. Meeker could be in some trouble. Or Meeker's gonna show you how flexible he is, one of the two. And Meeker looking to come up and out. Crandall had him in some trouble there. He hops over. This is entertaining, bodies are flying everywhere. Now looking for a reversal is Meeker. 18 seconds left. And we're gonna get a break. Crandall's gonna remain in control with 12 seconds left. 12 seconds remains here, 4-1 lead. Riley Crandall, M2 Training Center. He remains on top against Hunter Meeker. Meeker, we're not trained underneath. M2 Training Center, 45 to six after the forfeit at 205, and they are riding the claw like no other. And that's it, first period, 4-1 lead, Riley Cram. Crandall chooses to go underneath to start the second period with a 4-1 lead on Hunter Meeker Burnett Train. Crandall of M2 Training Center, M2 Training Center driver's seat right now with a 45-6 dual score. Only two bouts in favor of Burnett Train thus far here in this first round gold school matchup in day two of the National Middle School Duels 2020 edition here in beautiful Rossford, Ohio. Now Crandall looking to come out, catching a claw is Meeker, looking for near falls. Isn't gonna get it, maybe. No, they're holding two there. They're holding two on that. Trying to suck him back to his back. I, don't, I didn't even see the near falls get counted. 40 seconds remains, and there's the two near fall, 4-3 now. This bout has changed drastically. Hunter Meeker dominated early action. And now Riley, uh, sorry, Riley Crandall dominated earlier action. Hunter Meeker picks up quick two near ball. We got a 4-3 bout here at 55 pounds. I think mathematically this one is over, however. So not sure it really is going to matter. And here we go. Riley Crandall, 4-3 lead, but he's down on the mat struggling right now. 20 seconds remain, second period. Meeker looking to put more points on the board here. And that will do it. Hunter Meeker closes the gap by two. Riley Crandall up four to three. It is Meeker's choice. Can Crandall put a turn on him? 
So Riley Cram, a 4-3 lead here at 55 pounds, M2 Training Center against Hunter Meeker of Burnett Train. Boot comes in immediately for Riley Crandall. He's looking cradle here. Hip switch attempt by Meeker. Crandall might look to step over. He's hanging on to a head and arm. And almost looked like he could Merkel him. And now looking to come out is Meeker. Uh, reversal is put in the lead. They gotta watch the knee. And they stop it. These are little guys, young guys, and they gotta. Hopefully, Riley Crandall's okay. Hangs on for a stalemate there, or potentially dangerous actually, I believe was the call. 4-3 lead, Riley Crandall. He's on top, he can ride for the win. High pressure situations here, National Middle big School. Ball, ball, Riley ball. Crandall looking for a win against Hunter Meeker. One minute remains. Now he's looking near fall, they're counting him. And now looking to give him a reversal potentially. Did he get the near fall? So they go two near fall, two a uh, reversal, it's still gonna be Riley Crandall's lead. But they're not showing it on the board. Now he's looking to run him over. And, and they're going to call injury time. It should be five, six to four, five. Six to five. Six to five Crandall. I did not believe so. It's six to five. Yeah, six five Riley Crandall. So Crandall gets reversed, but before he gets reversed, Crandall gets a clutch two near fall. So that's gonna give him a one point lead, but he's got injury time counting down against him right now. As he screamed out there, hopefully he's okay. And he can continue. So Riley Crandall, six five lead. And time remaining. 46 seconds left in the bout. So it looks like they're gonna, Hunter Meeker will let Riley Crandall go, I think? I don't know. No kill, Riley, no kill. No, they're gonna try and, so 36 seconds remains here in this 55 pound bout. Crandall in a great position here, just not has to not give up two near fall. And that's what happened to him in the second. He gave up two near fall. Now they stop it potentially dangerous on the claw. 25 seconds in. Riley Crandall's underneath. All he's got to do is not get turned. If he doesn't get turned, he wins the bout. And Crandall doing what he has to. And he is fighting. Holy smokes, 15 seconds left. You love to see it on both guys. Crandall got to be. There's a stall on Crandall, it's not gonna matter. And Meeker is going to be unable to get the tilt. Riley Crandall gonna win a 6-5 decision here in a great match here at 55 pounds. And M2 gonna take a 48-6 lead after this one. In a great bout. Riley Crandall the winner.